Hi, this is Susie with Scrapbooking Outside the Box. I'm here to show you some of the um, continuations from the tags that I started to show you. I showed you that I was going to stack these paper tray ink die cuts um, from On the Farm, the stamp and die set. And I did that using a vintage book plate inking around the edges and these little clouds are from sassafras lass and then I used the um, one of the techniques that I told you about for tying a tag this one is stamping from the back side of the tag so you get this nice V so there's that set the other set I had started was also using on the farm stamp and die set from Paper Tray Ink. This one used the Sunburst, the Meadow stamp, and the Barn. This little die, I popped it up here. Oh, shoot. Oh, this stamp is from Clear Expressions. That's what I could never get through clear expressions and it says life let us cherish which I believe is true on a farm so there you have two uh, little uh, tag sets and I think they are really versatile you can use these on scrapbook pages just as a journaling prompt uh, think about if you were at a petting zoo or a 4-H projects, um, or as a general greeting, howdy. You know, it's perfect. Same with this one. The next thing I wanted to show you were some of my favorite layouts. And I'm going to start with this one. This is my cat Simba. And I used, uh, I stitched um, a mat on top of white, a black mat on top of white, added a border at the bottom with some sassafras last rub-ons, and then these little uh, alphabet stamps all the way around is how I did my journaling. And then my favorite part is this uh, fabric center. This is some vintage fabric that I stitched onto the black cardstock and then I die cut a circle in black and continued on with the stitching around the photo and just added some simple embellishments onto the top next I have this layout which is really one of my favorites um, not just because of the photo but a lot because of the photo. This is my son, my oldest son, um, when they won the World Champion College World Bat Series. He was the pitcher, and uh, the photo is enlarged, so I wanted to make the embellishments very simple. So I just added some stickers, some rub-ons, and I, I did stitch around these stars. but I left it uh, pretty simple in general. Next is a layout from Oregon. And this one is, I just wanted to show how you can, my goal is to uh, use products and stay trendy, but want to look at my layouts 10 years from now and not think what was I thinking when I made this. So for this one, this is a uh, flocked paper from Doodlebug topped with basil felt from um, what is it? Queen & Company and this is from Prima added some ribbon Karen Russell Brad's just did a lot of layering, some hand journaling, okay? 
Now for today's layout, this one is of my beautiful little baby Weimar Rhymer. He's not a baby, he's about five years old. But since he was born, I called him baby, probably because we have one that's 10 years old. Um, and this was a process because I thought I was finished and then I kept thinking there was more I needed to add. So as I added, um, I ended up pop dotting this center picture because his face is obviously in the sun as opposed to these pictures. So I pop dotted this. And then I added this um, for the title. I split it in two, adding this Spellbinders uh, Labels 1 die cut. And I added uh, some thickers, glittered thickers, which I thought went well with the snow. One thing I've learned with thickers that, that are thick, um, I've had them and used them for a long time, and I found loose thickers in my albums. Um, you really need to adhere them strongly, so I use a glue gun when I use these, and that works best for me. And then I just added some border trim, some buttons, and I thought I was done. So if you can imagine this without uh, the pink tails, that's what it looked like. Uh, so I added these um, banner endings, and I inked them with color box, and I think that gave it the, uh, the finishing touch. And also when you, what I, I started with a um, Basil Basics shimmer paper and then I topped it with the black and what I did was I saved, the, always save these uh, quarter inch strips that you trim off when you're layering a mat because they might make a nice it will look like another mat, but it looks nice. And I added the scalp borders, the buttons, the, and the twine. And that's my layout. If you want more information, please visit my blog, which is suzannebweb.blogspot.com. Thanks for, so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.